Welcome back and we are on the last day of the Money Savvy Challenge. Keep on watching so that you know what this final day's tip is and stay tuned. <music> Hey guys and welcome back to the financial spotlight i am chantrell i'm here to give you financial tips and tricks as you go on your road to know your money and today is the final day of the money savvy challenge 30 days down and this is it so today is the day that you need to finalize your budget and finalizing your budget is nothing more than making sure that you have all of your income written down all of your expenses written down and you take those, go through the check mark, make sure everything that's under expenses has been paid, all bills have been taken care of, all credit card payments, everything has been taken care of. If you don't remember the amounts, make sure you have your receipts and everything. You're going to go through those. You're going to close out this month by looking at your income, totaling that up, looking at your expenses, totaling that up. And the remaining amount, you should take that and deposit it into a savings account or put it into a piggy bank or something and hold on to it because you have extra, which is always a wonderful thing to have extra money left over, right? Okay, so once you have all of that and you have your totals all together, then you're going to take all of your receipts from the month, Make sure that those total up to be the same amount as your expenses for the month and all their bills and everything, expenses for the month. And then if you are a business owner, you need to make sure that you separate any payments that you've made or any things that you've purchased for your business from your personal so that you have those two expenses or types of expenses separated. Then you want to go through and see if there's anything that you can kind of eliminate um, in the coming up month. Um, did you buy one too many cups of coffee? Did you purchase, uh, did you go out to eat a little bit too much? Uh, did you purchase a couple of outfits that you didn't need to purchase or um, excessive amounts of outfits or something like that? Anything that you can possibly cut out for the next month that you don't need, then maybe you should look into that. And then now as you're going forth into the new month, you're going to say, okay, this is an expense or I'm going to look out for these expenses that I am not going to do. This is going to help you set your budget up for the next month and you're going to budget for things that are necessary, things that are needed and anything that's extra, you might be able to tap into the money that you saved from this current month and say, oh, okay, I have a little bit of extra so I can take that and I can put it towards another cup of coffee or whatever, treat yourself. But if you don't have anything left over or if you've spent more than you've made, then there's something wrong and <laughs> you need to make adjustments. You need to start reducing your expenses so that you are not having more expenses than income. More money going out than more money than money coming in. You do not want to live like that. So if you need help with that, make sure that you watch some of my videos here at the channel. Um, I hope that you found this week's, this month's rather, challenge helpful for you. Make sure you download the challenge calendar. It The link is still in the description box below. It is free as always. And it's also free to subscribe to this channel and get more tips like this every single week. Thanks for joining me for this Money Savvy Challenge. I hope it helped you. And make sure that you come back to the channel for more financial tips and tricks that I am going to give you every single week here on the channel. Thanks for joining me. Have a great one. Bye.